Just for Warren. On this problem, we have a uh, we have an equation. We have a variable v. Now, for our variable v, we need to get variable v by itself. That means we need to get rid of everything that's on the side of variable v. So what we need to do is to get rid of them, we have operations, right? We have multiply, divide, um, add, subtract. Well, to get variable v by itself, we need to do the inverse operations. And what I mean by the inverse operation is kind of think of like the opposite operations. So first thing we need to look at is we always undo any adding or subtracting. Now, a lot of people will say, well, we have subtraction going on, right? Because we're doing 10 minus. Just hold on to that. We're doing 10 minus 6v. But what I'm asking for is, hold on, v is fine. Just hold on to the sharp. It says, you know, what variable is being subtracted? Or, I'm sorry, what am I adding or subtracting to my variable? So, even though, yes, I am subtracting, I'm actually subtracting my variable from 10. But 10 is a positive number. So therefore, I'm actually adding 10. So to get rid of 10, I need to subtract a 10. Does everybody make sense of that? A lot of students will say, oh, I see subtraction. I need to add. Well, 10 plus 10 is going to give me 20. That's not going to help me get rid of my 10s. This becomes a 0, which a lot of times you just write as cancel out. So I get negative 6v equals a negative 114. Then to undo this problem, what I need to do is I need to divide by. Now what we need to divide is divide by negative 6. Since I'm multiplying my v times negative 6, I now need to undo that by dividing by negative 6. v equals, well, I know that 6 times a 20 would give me 120, right? And if I look like, I, if I minus 6, I get uh, 114. So therefore it would be uh, 19. And negatives cancel out, so I get a positive 19. All right, that's it. Woo, yeah, Mr. McLogan.